<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this PS3 is this. Those stains, I'd break it. I know you would. <laughs> Dave, you look exactly like you look when you play drums. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everyone? I am here with Mr. Dave Atkinson, and we are going to play some video games today. Yeah, we are. We're going to play some rhythm video games, and we want to talk about how these games can help with our rhythm as drummers. And we're gonna kind of rank them and give you our favorites, as well as tell you some things maybe we don't like about them. Yeah. And I'm definitely gonna hate the ones have you that ever played, I suck at the most. Have you ever played any rhythm games, video games? I played rock band. I, play, I played, uh, you know, I'd go to a party back yeah. when it was really popular. And they'd be like, oh, you're a drummer? Play, play rock band. So I'd sit down and I would just absolutely suck. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you're a really sucky drummer. I'm like, you have no clue. Yeah. Because it's not always the same playing a game like this, yeah. as this playing normal drums. So we're gonna be going through the game Beat Saber, a game called Thumper, a game called Rock Band, which you probably already know, uh, one for the Nintendo Switch called Ring Fit Adventures, and then another one which I have such a hard time pronouncing, it's called Taiko no Tatsujin. Did I say that right? <laughs> Taiko no Tatsujin. Which, which Ross told me is uh, similar to the game that I actually played in my Tama documentary. I went to a uh, arcade oh. and played the oh. legit big version. So you're a pro at this one already. No, it's it's a hard game, especially on the the higher levels. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to we're going to play them. We're going to see what we think about them. We're going to rate them based on how fun they are and also uh, how it actually uses your drumming skill. I guess, right? Right. All right, so the first game we're going to play is a game called Thumper. It was released on the PS3, uh, I'd say quite a few years ago, uh, but it was re-released on the PS4 with a VR version. We're just gonna play the regular version. And it's a pretty simple game. You can use a controller and the whole concept of it is you're a little beetle streaming through this course and it's all based around rhythms and music. Hmm. So the song's going on and as the song has the different changes or like the backbeat or whatever, you're supposed to hit buttons in order to make sure your beetle reacts to that rhythm. Okay. And if you don't, the beetle blows up. Okay. All right, so I've already played this. Jared, go through the tutorial. This controller's all sticky, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you're cruising down, right? Yeah. You want to listen to the music. So you don't go you don't go right and left. You will eventually. You can right now. Press left and right. You see you can move, but eventually more buttons will become used. So right now you're just pressing X. I see. And you're basically pressing it on the one there. One, right. two, three, four. Oops. And so I, I can do it before I even get there? You can, but it sounds better. When you do it successfully, the rhythm matches the song. Right. So do you sit there and play these games often, Dave? Uh, I wish I had more time to. They're a lot of fun. And um, I find it a great way because you can kind of relax. And I love music, obviously. So it's a game that, you know, you're listening to music, you're playing, doing something rhythmic based. Right. And um, yeah, it's fun. I always enjoy watching non-musicians play these games because uh, they don't think about it as playing in time or they don't even listen to the beat or anticipate or even subdivide. Right. For us, you're probably subdividing sixteenths and eighths in here because eventually everything that comes down is going to be in a, a sixteenth note or an eighth note yeah. or a quarter note, right? But non-musicians don't do that. They're just watching. It's a little bit too visually uh, hard to follow. Seriously, it's gonna give me a seizure, man. <laughs> it's the, the the lights on it are just like. There you go. I guess you get you're, you'll get used to the the stage, the, the, the crazy like graphics that are showing. Yeah. Is this is this a popular game? I can't imagine it being popular. It's got a cult following. On the PS4, it was uh, or PS3 is very popular. So you're almost at the end. Yeah. Where there will be a boss. Ah, almost. How do you keep up with that? It's like, am I actually that Bob your slow head? mentally? Bob your head to the quiz. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's the case. The verdict's out. You're going to get a bunch of people in the comments. That level was easy, Jerry. Definitely different than StarCraft. It's a lot different than <laughs> StarCraft. Or you Halo. Have to, you I have just to finished finish. Halo, Halo 5. Oh, did you? Yeah. Is there any rhythm in there? 
there's a lot when it comes to the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dumb. We're not stopping until you at least beat this world. I'm gonna break this controller soon. <laughs> Whose PS3 is this? Or PS... What is that? PS4? This is, this is a PS4. This is Ross's. Alright. Those Dave's, I'd break it. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> Alright, let me Come just finish on. it for you. Bullshit. Watch how a pro does it. You better get it first try. Consider... Consider how amazing... Gotta get into the rhythm. Bob my head. <laughs> <laughs> You're much farther than I am. I was way, I was way off from being done. <laughs> yeah, we would have been here for a while, but there you go, I just destroyed the boss. Mm. There we go. So that's the first world, you get the nice. idea. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, <clears throat> let's rank it then. I don't, can, should we do that now? Let's do it, let's rank so it. So we have to say at the same time out of 10. So I, I don't want yours to skew mine. Okay, this is gonna be based off how fun it is, yeah. how, how much it uses your rhythmic talent, I guess you could say. And then, um, yeah, how accessible it is it to get. Okay. This is a relatively cheap game. You could probably find it for like 20 bucks, right? If you have a PS3, you could get those for like 80 bucks in Aldi yeah. um, So it's pretty easy to get. I have fun with it. I think I got to World 8 or something like that when I was playing it. Yeah. Um, so I think I know what I'm gonna rate it. Do okay. you, know what you're gonna, you know what you're gonna rate it? Yeah. Out of 10, one, two, Three, five. six and a half. There you go. Yeah, That's I think not bad. I read five because I didn't. Think, I don't know how fun it is. If I was gonna practice rhythm, I would just go play drums. Yeah. So it's a good game. Yeah. And I wouldn't say this is a game to replace practicing rhythm. Yeah. So practice drums. It's just a fun game to play that utilizes some of the yeah, things. Yeah, but if I'm gonna play video games, then play StarCraft or Halo or Call of Duty. Fair enough. <laughs> so there you go. Six and a half. At least for me. rhythm, like it's not a good enough rhythm game to warrant me like buying that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. All right, shall we move on to the next yeah. game? Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so Thumper is pretty cool. The <laughs> next game we're gonna play is a Taiko game, and I'm, I don't know how to say it, but it's Taiko no Tatsumi, something like that? Taiko Ta no Tatsujin. Now, when I was in, uh, in Japan at the Tama documentary, I played a version of this in the arcade. And it was super, super fun. So you're going to be playing this okay. to start. Sounds good. Um, and you got to basically, you got to, you got to hit in the middle. You got to hit on the edges, just like if you play normal taiko drums. You okay. Done that? I've never played taiko <laughs> drums, man. You're the, you're the pro here. I'm so. not the pro. Taiko <laughs> drumming is like the day after taiko drumming. I, I have never felt my body so sore. Oh, because you're using a lot of your the, arms, the one right? guy was stretching for like an hour straight, and I'm like, you, you, you come on, man, don't be such a wuss. <laughs> And uh, I now know why he was stretching for an hour straight. So normally when okay. you play Taiko, it's full body, but this is, uh, this is the best we got, so. Sure, I'll be this guy. What does it say, play without skills? It's perfect for you. Is that what it All right, I'm, not, I'm gonna skip the tutorial. I'm just gonna jump into a song here. I think I get the idea. All right, let's try a song here. I'm gonna try Flight of the Bumblebee. Okay, so we had to change the drum setting so it would line up with what, when we hit this. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I thought you were it was on weird. and it registered. Sometimes I thought you were off. And, and it, it wasn't, or it was registered. And it did register. Yeah, so hopefully this calibration works. It's the same thing I feel about this rock band. Sometimes you play and yeah. it's, there's lag. Especially because you're, are you supposed to use your ears or are you supposed to use your eyes? I think that's the big I'm thing. I'm doing normal, I'm not doing hard. I want to actually yeah. like yeah. have a chance. You would. But you remember the hard was... <laughs> the Turkish bad. March is not my... It's not your favorite song? You know, it's much easier than a heart. Ah. Nice. 
19 stroke roll. Ah. There you go. It's crazy how much easier the, the normal is than the hard. I also think it's 96%. I think it's the calibration too. You were hitting stuff that were, um, let me try one more one yeah. more time. Yeah. I'll just do, I'll do the flight of the bumblebee again to see if the calibration changed at all. It's a fun game. I think we should leave this in the, in the office here and yeah. have some like competitions. We totally work. should. Do you want to turn it up there for me, Taylor? You had a 19 stroke roll there, by the way. <laughs> Are you on hard? Yeah. You're getting so much better. I mean, from a from a musical perspective, this is way, way better to train rhythms and sticking. Yeah. I mean, you're doing like left hand lead, right hand lead. You're doing, you're getting movement. This would be a great game for kids. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, I've lost it. Okay, well it was better than the first I was, time. I would guess you got 60, 65%. Same. Yeah. That's a pass though, on hard. I agree with you though. This game is a lot more intuitive than Thumper. One more. You wanna do one more? Train, train. This is the one you're doing. Okay. okay. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> I guess the song Train Train wasn't actually a locomotive. It was like, you need to train and train. <laughs> so, what, what do you think was, of this, this game? It's way harder on hard. It's pretty hard, hey? <laughs> yes. The thing that confused me was you're hearing the sound of the pad, and if that's not in time with that, and then the visuals, they kind of accelerate towards it a I, little I bit. I think you could learn it, though. It's like yeah. anything. And the, the nice thing with this game is if you give it to a kid, or even an adult, yeah. you have the easy settings. Yeah. And then if you want, like you did really well on the, the hard, on you had 70%. Se yeah, I did actually, yeah. So I mean, that's probably where you'd go. I'd stick on the normal, but I, I, I have my rating for this game. Okay. Uh, so in terms of overall fun level, yeah. the usefulness as a drummer, and then um, accessibility. Now the thing is with this one, we had to order this one in. I think Ross had to order yeah, it how much was the this? UK. How much was it? Uh, $220. Just for this and the game? For the controller and the game. Ah, 220 Two. bucks. And then you need a Nintendo Switch to play it. So it's a little bit more expensive. Right. Um, what's your rating? Count of three? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Three. One, two, three, eight. seven. Ah, pretty uh, we're pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. I give it eight because uh, I think some of the rhythmic, like some of the timing stuff, could be adjusted. But yeah. other than that, it's really, really fun. It's it's great for training your rhythm. If this is a game you wanted to play yeah, just at home bad, and you yeah. you weren't, it was taking away from your practice time. Yeah. It would be really cool. You're using big taiko sticks, if that's yeah. what they're called. Um, and the other thing too is, I mean, I recognize Flight of the Bumblebee. Yeah. There's recognizable songs. But Train Train, I've never heard before. Okay, what's next? All right, let's move on to another game for the Switch. It's called, um, here it is, Ring Fit Adventure. Now, from what I've heard, this game is going to make you sweat. You're going to be doing a bunch of squats, and it's exercise. Really? Uh, but it's a rhythmic exercise game. Okay. Ready for this? Yeah. Let's put it in. 
Okay, so the next game we're gonna get into is called Ring Fit Adventure, and it is for the Nintendo Switch. And it comes with this device, which is like a, a wheel or a ring, I guess. And you put one controller in here, and then you strap the other controller to your leg. And I think you have to stand up for this one, Jared. Yeah. Ready, go! All right, let's go. Here we go. Ah. There you go. Ah, squeeze, press, squat, squat. Ah. Ah. Okay. So I guess the rhythm comes into play because ah. most of the actions happen on the downbeat. Get up, jump up, stand up. Frick. <laughs> this looks hard. <laughs> I can see I can see some soccer moms loving this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. I mean I love this. Works your brain and your body, hey? This may be the best hybrid of exercise, rhythm, and fun. There you go. How do you feel? Definitely gets you going. B plus. D plus? <laughs> Want me, yeah, let me give it a try. Get ready to squat, Dave. Oh, I don't want to squat. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tracking's off on this, which is too bad because. It It's hard to hold it. Oh, like I'm squatting here. How much more do I have to go? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I literally have to squat like this. Why would it not recognize it? Please. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> so turn it, Dave. Turn it. Oh, you're supposed to yeah, turn, turn it like a steering wheel. Oh, oh man. That makes much more sense. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, how many times <laughs> did I say that while he was going? Well, turn it. I'm like, Rob, you're going to do a montage in the edit. Turn it like a steering wheel for those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, I want to try the try try because my last. squat wasn't working. Dude, you got a C, C minus. <sighs> Why? Did better than good. for the squat not working and ground for me. Super advanced. Super advanced? <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, you know, I'm just gonna absolutely, <laughs> like, I'm gonna lose so bad. Ready? No. Go! Oh, jeez. Oh. Ah. ah, not bad for super advanced. Are you a little tired? You getting a little tired? Rank D? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I think I get the it's idea. Good. I get the hang of this one. Um, so this is on this is on Nintendo Switch again. Yeah, two hundred and twenty bucks you said to get know. this in. This one's about hundred bucks. This one's about hundred dollars with all the hardware. 
Okay, so this game costs $100 to get, with it, which includes the ring. You need to have a Nintendo Switch, so it's pretty accessible. Uh, it's fun. You pick it up pretty quick. It gives you a workout. You're feeling it. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah? I'm going to buy this game. Are you? <laughs> yeah. There you go. My kids will love it. Yeah. And, and uh, I think exercise. it'll be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of rhythm, though, because that's what we want to rank this on. Is it a fun game for drummers? Do you think that they would jump in? Because for me, I found it more of a good workout and a yeah, fun but game. Yeah, but if drummers aren't healthy, you can't play drums. No, true. But we're not, we're not talking about how fit of a game it is. <laughs> okay, well, you have a ranking for it? Yeah. I bet you I know what Jared is. I have a ranking for it as well. Okay, three, two, one, seven. Six. Oh, oh yeah. I thought you were gonna go higher. Well, I think I think the fact is it's not, it's not purely a rhythm game. Yeah. But um, there's many many rhythmic elements to it, and so it's not. I would say I, I would choose if I'm learning, trying to get better at rhythm, I would choose a typo game. Yeah. But if I wanted to get in better shape, plus get better at rhythm, or to waste some of your kids' energy, yes, this is perfect for that. But if you're a drummer looking for a game, this, I don't think this is the one. What? I just, if, I don't think it's a fun enough well, game for him. But Jared's gonna go buy it, so there's that. <laughs> okay, let's do the next game. The next thing we're gonna try is Rock Band. And right. I actually wish more of these games would be coming out because um, right now we don't have anything to take someone from not being interested in a musical instrument at all yeah. to buying a drum set or a guitar. Right now, this was kind of like in between there where they discover it and uh, hopefully they become more more popular or something else comes out to kind of gamify yeah, music agree. and the learning yeah. experience. So Dave, you want to give this one a whirl? I'll give this one a whirl. I played okay. this once or twice way back in the day. What I really yeah. like about it is you get to play with actual drumsticks. Yeah. So of all things, all these rhythmic games, this is the only one really that you can play with real drumsticks. Uh, so let me get on here and let's give it a try. All right, I'm gonna go straight to Expert because I can play this song on the drums so you'd think that I'd be able to play it on Rock Band. <laughs> you think? <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> One thing is, you have to get the colors going. And I'm a bit colorblind. You're like a dog. I'm like a dog. All right. Dave Grawl here on the drum. That's going away from me. No. Okay, I got sandbags on there, so the drum kit's not going to go away. Let's try it again. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that's not expert, man. But the thing is, is I'm playing the beat. Yeah, but you're not, you're not an expert in real life, so what makes you think you can play <laughs> expert here? Poker face? I'm going to try it on easy. No, I'm not doing expert. I can't even play it, I can't even play it on normal, on time. Okay, let's see. Dave, it's your favorite song. This is my favorite song. You gonna spin your sticks? Okay. It, either it's just way easier, or it's or the it's, calibration works. Yeah. Phil. Okay, so let's try it on one harder setting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, creep on expert. So, can you get a double pedal installed on this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, this is such a good song. It teaches you bass drum patterns? Yep. Song form? Well, if you play on Expert, you're literally playing the exact groove of the song. Which is why, if you're a drummer and you're playing this game, most likely Expert's what you're going to want to live on. 
The trick, tricky part for me was you have to play the right pads. Where, why is the crash symbol green, for example? And you have to remember that. Right. Ninety-four percent on experts. Very nice. And I think the, probably the easiest song in there. And you, you know that song. You could play it on the kit. So my uh, opinion on this game is, when it did first come out, it was really popular, and I did play it at a few friends' house. If you're playing with friends, it's fun because they're on the guitar. Yeah. But if I wanted to go and play this on my own solo, it's almost just as the same as playing a, a real drum set. So why wouldn't you just go and play these? Well, this songs? tells you where you're doing, hitting within time, not in time, it teaches you when to move. So even this is a simple thing as playing the beat and then doing the open hi-hat. Yeah. Like you now you know you need, oh there's something there, what is that it forces you to listen to it? Yeah. So it, it, it might not be, it doesn't, make you, it doesn't make you a drummer, it makes you good at playing this video game, yeah. but when you got to the drum set, you'd probably be more likely to pick those things out and be able to know, oh, I should open a hi-hat there. Good, good call. And I think it's also great to introduce people into drums. You're sitting there playing Creep, it feels like you're playing the song, you're doing the, going through the motions, so it'll make you think that you could do it on yeah. the drum set, and it's actually not that much different. So I like the game. I think for if you're an intermediate drummer, you're going to get frustrated with it, and you're going to rather just go to your drum set and play music with your earbuds in or whatever. Um, but for beginners or for people who just want to have fun with it, I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. So let's rate it. Okay. So based on fun, level of fun, based on um, drummer's appeal, and then also based on accessibility. Yeah. This game you could probably find for about 100 bucks now. It's an old system, so it's pretty cheap and easy to get. I'm going to give it... One, two, three, seven. seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Seven only because the song selection is limited. They're not adding to it anymore. Yeah. And, um, and you need all this hardware and stuff, whereas yeah. I kind of recommend you get a drum set. Yeah. But, okay, what game are you doing next? Last one we're going to do is Beat Saber. Let's get that one set up. That's okay. VR, so get ready. Okay. All right, the next game we're going to be playing is Beat Saber, and I got a VR headset on. <laughs> You Where look you? better than ever, dude. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I love this game. I've got to be honest. I played it before. I probably got about 15, 20 hours into it. Um, a good buddy of mine, Aaron Edgar, plays this as well. And I haven't had a drummer play this game and not enjoy it or not be able to play at least normal right out the gate. So it's a pretty fun game, and nice. I really already enjoy it. All right, let's see it. Okay, so the whole idea here is we're going to be slicing blocks in time. Pick a song here. Okay, here we go. So you slice, Jared, it's super right. simple. Right? And you gotta watch the walls. So, you're making it look easy, but I'm sure it's much harder than that. <laughs> it's easier than you think. Because everything's in time, right? So you want to dodge, dodge the brick or the walls. There's an arrow that points, oh, I hit the bomb accent. <laughs> Dave, you look exactly like you look when you play drums. <laughs> oh no! Dude, this is this actually all in time? There's no way this is... It's really easy. No, it's not. I love how you're just pro level. You just like <laughs> secretly go home and stream on Twitch. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you'll feel, feel patterns, but everything's in the, in the grid. Whoops. And it vibrates when you hit them too. Right. 
So it feels like you're actually Oh no! You failed! You failed! So you get the idea. You wanna give it a try? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so Jared, where the arrows are, swing into the arrows. So if it's a downward arrow, you wanna hit down into it. Oh, okay. Duck. You can oh, go there's down. the arrows. You don't need to duck anymore. Oh, his hands are a mess, hey? Uh, Jared, switch hands. There you go. Ah. There you go. How do you feel? Fine. Picking it up? I don't know, kind of. Yeah, that's fun. Ah. Ah. Ah, there you go. So what do you think? Just crazy, dude. Isn't that nuts? Okay, so Beat Saber, what do you Ooh, think? That was really, really fun. That's Once I got fun. the hang of it. I didn't yeah. even notice the arrows, that the way you were had yeah. to hit it. You have to swing into them. Yeah. This is, this feels like you're in the future. It totally does. When you're, when you're using one of these, I've only done it a few times, but super cool. It's a lot of fun. What I love the most about it is every every motion you're doing is in time, is in rhythm, you're you're feeling 16th notes, 8th notes, triplets, right. and you're actually getting a bit of a workout in there too. Yeah. The music's great and it's a lot of fun, so yeah. I really like this game. I'd say affordability maybe isn't as good, but we're not really ranking it on based on that. No, you're right. To get a, I mean, depending on what time you're watching this, PS4 plus a PS4 VR headset, you're looking at around, I don't know, Five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. So it's a little bit more. You can also get this for the PC, but then you're getting an Oculus or a Vive, and those aren't aren't cheap either. But if you do have the money and you are a drummer, I guarantee you you'll have fun with this game. I've talked yeah. to a lot of drummer friends. Aaron Egger, one of them. Ross, another one in our office, is a drummer. They they all love it. So yeah. Ready awesome. to ready to rank? Yep. One, two, three, nine eight. and a half. Nine and a half. Yeah, it's up there. I would say have eight. A, have a soft spot for it. <laughs> cool. That's the best what, one, in my opinion, of all of them was the Tyco. Only in that I think it's the purest rhythmic training game in that it, it really focuses on combinations, like mm -hmm. groups of four, five. It, eventually I think it goes into like herdas. It, it helps you to like move your hands to different parts mm -hmm. of the drum. And for 240 bucks, I think it's like, I don't know what I rated it. I probably rated this one higher. Yeah, I think you did. But now knowing what I know about all of them, I would probably would rate that one closer to nine. Yeah. Um, and this one an eight. Okay. Well, my... Final remarks, of all these games, I have Thumper, I have Beat Saber, I played Rock Band, but the one I keep going back to is always Beat Saber. Yeah. So I put that one highest. I think it's the most, it's the best balance of fun, rhythmic, and exercise all wrapped around in a yeah. video game. So that's what I'd recommend. What I'd like to know, for all of you out there now, do you ever play any rhythmic video games? Which ones do you play? Which ones would you like to see us try out yeah. and bomb on? Let us know in the comments section. We'd love to, to hear more about that. Otherwise, happy video gaming, and hopefully you learned something, and maybe you can practice drums while you play video games. See you later.